Hello everyone, in this video let us discuss few problems in DC circuits. Number 1. Calculate for each of the circuits shown in figure 1.6 the current flowing in the circuit that each resistor is of 2 kilo ohm. So in figure A we have a single resistor of 2 kilo ohms and a voltage supply of 200 volts. So as we know that the current voltage and resistor relation is nothing but I is equal to V divided by R. We know that V that is voltage supply is 200 volts, 200 divided by 2 kilo ohms. Kilo is nothing but 10 to the power 3. So the value is 0 0.1 amps which can be written as 100 milliamps. In the second circuit we have two resistors connected in series that is 2 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm. So if the resistors are connected in series we have to add those resistance value. As we know that 2 kilo ohms is nothing but 2000 ohms. So 2000 ohms plus 2000 ohms is nothing but 4000 ohms. So we know the relation I is equal to V divided by R. So here uh, again V voltage supply is 200 volts divided by and the series resistance value is 4000 ohms. So the value is 0 0.05 which can be written as 50 milliamps. Number 2. Calculate the voltage across each of the resistance shown in figure 1.7 and then calculate the supply voltage. So this is the figure. We have three resistance which are connected in series. So first resistance is of 2 ohms, second is of 4 ohms and third is of 6 ohms. So we have to calculate first V1, V2 and V3. Then later we have to cal calculate the supply voltage V. So they have given the values of all the three resistance value and current value. So we know that the relation between uh, voltage, current and resistance is V is equal to IR. So as we are calculating V1, the formula is V1 is equal to IR1. We know I is 2 amps and V is 2 ohms. The value is 4 volts. And as Similarly, V2 is I into R2 that is 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 volts. V3 is I into R3, 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 volts. So we got the values of V1, V2 and V3. So the uh, addition of all the three voltages is equal to the supply voltage. So if we add all the three, we get 24 volts which is nothing but the supply voltage. Number 3. For the circuit shown in figure 1.8, find the circuit current given that the supply voltage is 200 volts. So this circuit consists of three resistance which are connected in series R1, R2 and R3 and they have given a supply voltage as 200 volts. Here we need to find the circuit current which is nothing but I. So as the resistance are in series, we need to add the resistance value to find the equivalent resistance value. So the R is nothing but R1 plus R2 plus R3 that is 40 plus 60 plus 80 is nothing but 180 ohms. So we know the relation of current voltage and resistance is I is equal to V by R. So V value is nothing but the supply voltage is 200 volts and the equivalent resistance is 180 as we have calculated. So if we do V by R, we get the circuit current as 1.11 amps. Number 4. In the voltage divider of figure 1.10, given that V is 50 volts and the voltage across R2 that is 100 ohms is 20 volts, calculate the value of R1. So the one way to calculate the value of R1 is so as we know the supply voltage is 50 volts and the voltage across R2 is 20 volts then the voltage across R1 is the remaining voltage that is 30 volts. So 30 plus 20 volts is nothing but the supply voltage 50 volts. So we know that the relation I is equal to V by R. So we are calculating for the current using the resistance R2 and the V2. So we will calculate by using V2 and R2 that is 20 divided by 100 which is nothing but I is nothing but 0.2 amps. So we got the value of I. 
i is equal to 0.2 amps so using this we can find out the value of r1 so we know the value of v1 that is 30 so the value of r1 is nothing but v1 by i so v1 is 30 divided by 0.2 which can be written as 150 ohms the other way to calculate the value of r2 is nothing but the using this formula that is v2 divided by v is equal to r2 whole divided by r1 and r2 that is the equivalent resistance so v2 is 20 the supply voltage is 50 we know that r value 100 divided by r1 we are yet to find that plus 100 so uh, solving this we will get r1 value that is 150 so this is r1 plus 100 so when we bring the 100 that's why we will get the value of r1 there are two methods to solve this problem number five find the supply current uh, of the circuit shown in figure 1.14 the supply current i and the branch current are shown in figure 1 so this circuit here the resistance are connected in parallel so as we know that in uh, if the resistance are connected in series the current passing through the resistance will be same whereas if the resistance are connected in parallel the voltage across this resistance will be same so here the volt the supply voltage is 100 volts whereas the res voltage across r1 will also be 100 and r2 will also be 100 so we need to find i i2 and i1 so as we know that uh, voltage across uh, each resistance is 100 we can calculate i1 with the relation i1 is equal to v divided by r1 that is 100 divided by 20 which is nothing but 5 amps that is the value of i1 i2 is nothing but v divided by r2 that is 100 divided by 40 which is nothing but 2.5 amps so the supply current is nothing but the summation of i1 and i2 that is 5 plus 2.5 is nothing but 7.5 amps